we both came up here together. Uh. All right, here we go. We got both Lars and Soup's Dupes. A Lars versus Shaheen. I rarely see this matchup, but I think this is just just my opinion. I think this goes to Buff Lars for his character. Fight. Yeah, I I do think that um whenever it comes to like certain character matches up, or at least in like in a local setting, uh, it's all really comes down to the players using them. Because even though I don't know if y'all follow Buff Lars on Twitter. He be going yeah. on some crazy rants talking about Lars sucks, Lars this, Lars that. But you see him out here. He putting in work. That is true. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Keeping him checked. Yeah. And uh, the other thing I would definitely say about when I... Uh, when I was uh, a uh, character specialist. But War is definitely a character specialist. So a lot of times they will fully, fully flesh out a character matchup, like especially character specific, and they will come up with a lot of different scenarios that may be in their favor or may not be in their favor, but they'll understand it to that much of a depth. Wait, what? Oh my God! I did not see that. Yo. Oh, they good. <laughs> oh man, that's a that's a lovely picture. It's chilling. Uh, that is great, yo. Yes, indeed. Finish him off with that down four one. I gotta let this man snow. Just look at the picture when you're when you're done with your set. Oh my lord. That's amazing. <laughs> I will say this though. Um, I did see a bit of this particular matchup early on today. And I saw that uh, Soup Scoop's placement of 4 1, especially as a counter hit, mm -hmm. that place has been pretty much on pretty on point. It's been pretty on point. Wasn't uh, his, was it like his 4 4, was it? Um, yeah, I'm talking about Shaheen's 4 1. This is uh, Captain 4. Uh -huh. Yeah, and now since it uh, no longer jails, if you want to get the actual 1, 4 1. You gotta really commit to it. Ooh, I don't think that's gonna kill. Uh, you have really to have. Hurts. Has to commit to a mix-up. Okay. Ooh. Price to the dog. I guess he's trying to guess Round wrong. Four. Yeah. I think he could have uh, reacted to a low B and back up a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing I'll uh, definitely highlight to the players watching is that if you're here trying to study this particular map or any of the players, definitely look at uh, Buff Lars' micro space. It's really good. Nice one. Doesn't punish that move. I think that's unsafe, right? Let's say minus 12, minus 11. Yeah. Oh, you thought it was 4 2? I think it was that. Uh, what Buff Lars just did. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to the move. I don't uh, really know too much of Lars' move set as far as like the actual does. Yeah, that's a really tough scenario to block and defend. If somebody's running at you from like full screen, and you have like a little bit of health, it's like, hey, what you going to do? You going to low parry for the slide? Got the dive? This is tough. It's not opting out with the stage select. I would have gone for walls for at least a uh, Shaheen gameplay, but then Lars also kills at the wall too. Yeah, he hurts at the wall too. One thing I noticed is that Suchu is trying to um, play, uh, he's really emphasizing neutral. He's not really eliminating Buff Lars' approach options. And um, they're just trading blows for the most part. Like, they, they, like a lot of the majority of the matches is them trading blows within range one. Yeah. Like, even right now, you see how... Ooh. See, I, I, I was talking about that earlier. The 4-1, right? Yeah, yeah, 4-1, yep. His placement of that, really solid, especially when he gets low on health. Very precise. I like the improvement there from Soups. He's been using the, the slide a little bit more, and low parries. I like that. Yeah. Got a pretty good read on the shoe side. He just really needs to hide the slide. I mean, it works, but there was one time he actually blocked the slide, so he just needs to hide it just a little bit more. Nice punish. Nice punish. Oh, there we go. Nice slide. 
He's been landing the slide quite a bit all day today. I guess like all of his points. That is true, yes. That's the one thing about Shaheen. He has the slide mix up and gets punished for the hop kick. Oh yeah. Me, I'd rather pick a slide than uh, while standing too though. Mmm. Gets the counter hit down back four. Apparently he's been complaining about down back four, uh, you know, being an unsafe low. I'm like, bro, you've been landing them. I will definitely say this. I do think that um, Bob Lars will definitely pull away in the close range. But I do think he should use more uh, approach options as well because he's been getting some knowledge off of that. Because the other thing is that um, Soup Zoops is not really challenging his approach options. So I, think, I do think that he could uh, do a little bit more with that. Nice challenge with the 1 1 1. Like, like his approach options are definitely they're, they're definitely getting some mileage off of it. Oh no, he pressed. Yeah, he tried to probably try to go for the whip punish. Because I saw the first down four for a whip. Trying to catch him after that. I guess he's trying to uh, bait soups into pressing just like that, but he missed. Oh, they are here brawling. Look at this man go. Mm, bam. Lars has some really cool combos. Like the way they look, they look really cool. I would say not stay on the ground because Lars can harass you with his dynamic entry too, was it? Yes, I believe that is too. I would definitely like to see him go back to him play though. But Lars. Gets the rage drive, but how is he gonna come back after this? Uh, this is gonna be tough. That is gonna be tough, especially against Shahe against Lars. Shaheen doesn't really isn't really known for comebacks. That's yeah. actually launch. Uh, what was it? Wall standing. Yes. That is launch. Yeah, I believe it's uh, minus 16. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But that's my guess. That's my guess. But I don't think Lars has a standing launch. Now that I think about it. Now he doesn't have a traditional down forward two like some other characters. Mm. Oh, nice down forward two. Speaking of down forward two, we clean that man's chin. He said, your chin is not that hard. He said, yo, dog, your glass jaw is broken. <laughs> glass jaw? It's an uh, ass jaw. <laughs> oh, he gets the it. launch. Oh, this Ooh. is gonna hurt. What if we're gonna see Rage Drive? There it is. Oh, that's the mix. I like it. Round two. Is he either gonna use that for the combo or for the mix up? It looks like he went for that. That was a dirty, uh, Delayed hop kick. I don't like that. I like it. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Trizzy, the delay hop kick king. Jesus. Now you see what I was saying earlier. His approach options are have been not getting challenged or punished or anything like that. So he's getting a lot more mileage over there. As you can see, he just got hit with that counter, hit to close that round. Because I believe uh, Soups is kind of respecting his uh, Lars approaches a little bit, but that would mean that he's not trying to make Lars think more decisions here like oh what am I gonna do just to make sure uh you know I can get in you know it's like I believe that Lars since now has the information that oh. is not doing like a lot of choices to keep him honest yeah. my thing is like the one thing I've picked up playing as just a player just in any fighting game mm -hmm. there are so many uh, particular interactions that can happen in the game. The whole question is, how are you going to approach this particular option? Yeah. Like, whether it be round closing, you just see that right there. He got touched on head foot. You're going to run up to a low, you're going to do a mid, you're going to launch overhead. You never really know. 